<laughs> Booyah! What up you guys? Welcome back to another one of these videos. Today, uh, this is gonna be a strange one, funny one. I was asked, asked this question when I was actually doing this trick and like, how do you do that? How do you spin the big ball? How do you spin, is it like, is it more different? Is it difficult? So how does it actually work? So this is just some quick tips. This is not a finger spin tutorial. This is like, if you already know how to do this with a normal ball, normal size ball, uh, how you can do it with this big ass yoga balls or whatever they're called. Swiss balls, I think it's the actual term. Uh, but yeah. So how do you do it? So first of all, like I said, you have to know this one. And the basic principle of this is the speed and the correct angle and you catch it from the center from the right place and then it basically spins on its own. Now, when it comes to doing the big ball, it's pretty much the same thing. The only difference is, well, first of all, the ball is bigger. <laughs> so quick thing about the ball, you want to have it filled almost completely, okay? It's easier to catch if it's a little bit underfilled, but it spins much more. The more filler it is, like the more full it is, the more, like this is it, like bam, you know? <laughs> so the more air it's inside the ball, the longer it will spin, okay? So you can try first with a little bit underfilled, but then you wanna fill it up, okay? and. Well, the size, it doesn't really matter. You can use a, as big ball as you want or as small as you want. I had the Durable Pro, but this is super expensive compared, but this is like for lifting weights on top of the ball. This is the quality for doing some exercises. So just so you know. Um, yeah, so the spin, so instead of holding it with one hand, obviously you have to hold it with two. You gotta give it a spin with two hands and depending on the like which way that's like what you're used to I can have more spin this way so meaning it's the same way that I spin it uh, with the ball I go like that way because I can get more speed like that way same with ball so if I'm holding it on my right hand on my right hand finger I'm gonna spin it this way, so it's sort of like counterclockwise in a sense. So if I'm taking the knob and it's facing myself, so when I spin it, it will go to the right. Okay. So the knob is here, the the hole that you put the air in. I'm not vinyl, veil, veil, well, veil, whatever. A hole, <laughs> a hole with the knob. That's it. That's what we call it. So that is pointing yourself. So I put my right hand here and the left hand goes behind like this, fingers are up and I go that way and I just not do it like this, not only that, I put my knees into it as well. So I give it, first of all it's so I can give my whole body, so it's not just the hands, I move my torso a bit as well. So I bend my knees a bit. I turn from the uh, from my feet. I actually I'm standing on my right leg and my left leg turns a bit with my body so I can give more speed. Okay? So more spin. And that's it. That's how you're gonna get it. Now when it comes to holding the finger, when you have a big ball, you're obviously you have to do that. So it spins on your nail. And now because this is uh I mean with a normal ball. Well, let me show you. Bam, bam. Come on. So it's actually on your nail. It's not on. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. Probably not. But uh, yeah, the lining is packed. So it's not on your finger because with the small ball, with the small ball, there is not a lot of weight, so the friction of the skin will make it stop faster. But with the big ball, because it's so much heavier and there's so much more mass and your small 
tip of your finger is quite small compared to the large surface of the big ball. So it, you can do it like that. So it can be now the finger instead of turning your nail. Now obviously it will spin longer if it's on the nail, but it's much heavier to catch it like that. Okay, so that's why I catch it on the top tip of my uh, on the tip of my finger with the skin, and actually I extend it like this. So if it goes down, I have the finger do it like that. So I'm not holding it straight up. Plus I'm holding with my thumb. The thumb is here pushing against this, and if you have a much heavier ball, what you can do is press with your index, uh, sorry, with your middle finger. So it's, um, how do you say it? So your index finger is between the middle finger and thumb. So you're squeezing in there, so that way you're offering support for your finger, so it doesn't bend uh, anyway, so it doesn't hurt. You don't bend it here because your thumb is here, you don't bend it there because your middle finger is here, so you're holding it there. So now you have kind of like a good surface for it. It's, you have a stick, okay? <laughs> and like I said, I'm holding it a little bit forward just to catch it and then I will move it upwards. Because now I have more surface and once I catch it, I will turn it up. So it goes like that. I go down and then I come back up. And with that, after you learn it, it's the same. It's about just giving the speed so it's completely horizontal, the spin. And you can actually do it, like if you have a line here, you just practice it with that line. To see if it's actually spinning. It's straight on the logo. <laughs> That's where you get the sound. Uh, but yeah, so now that you got it to spin, how do you make the troll? It's just like throwing it from here. So you go first down a bit, up and catch. Okay? This is something that you can do if you want to practice a very cool trick. Throw it up and you catch. So you do the same with your finger. If you use your knees, you go down a bit, you throw and you catch. And once you catch, you go also down with your knees. So you can get, you throw it up in the air and you catch it. And again, hold it with the thumb and the uh, middle finger. And if you do that, let's make some space. If you get the ball up in the air, you throw it, you catch it, then you can do a pirouette, you can do 360, and then you're cool. <laughs> so let me try without breaking anything. And this is a high, quite low ceiling, like now it's on ceiling, so I cannot make a high throw. I have to make a low throw and a low 360. Sorry, fast 360. Again. Oh. There we go. And there's also another tip. Instead of trying to throw it like that, you raise your arm up. Like just when you hit like here's the top, just when you reach there, before you're gonna let go. So you're actually throwing it like that much. So what you're doing, you're pushing your arm up and then you're gonna throw it maybe like 10 centimeters, like that much. So you're actually doing it like this. So it's not so much a throw, that's how you can control it. So you're not gonna throw it up. You're gonna raise it up. And just with the speed of raising it up, you can bring your arm very quickly. Like that. And then you just do it while spinning. And that is one of the most badass tricks you can do, especially if you go to the gym. Like think about going to some uh, CrossFit gym or something like that. And there's one of these Swiss balls and you just go. All right, let's do some warm up. You go there, you go on the knees, you do some warming up, some balancing, and then you can do some sit up crunches, whatever. And then you take the ball and you go like, Boom. And then you throw it up, you do 360, you catch it back up again. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> it's just, it's a badass moment. So, it's pretty cool. But yeah, anyway, that's it. That's a finger spin 
how do you do the finger spin, how do you spin it on your finger with the big ball, some quick tips. That's all I got for you. That's all I got for you today. Yeah, I'm getting tired. It's been a long day. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys could understand and I wasn't rambling too much. But yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.